by the end of this video you should be able to draw this simple piston in AutoCAD before you open your AutoCAD software ensure that you have sketch of the dimension on paper the first step is to open up the AutoCAD software you can press F7 on the keyboard to toggle the grid lines off next we're going to pick the polyline command next I will pick a point on the screen next I'm going to press F8 on the keyboard to keep this line straight next I will move towards this direction and type 15 press enter next you are going to use the ruler at the center of your mouse and will it open to zoom you can also depress the ruler to pan the object around the screen from this point to this point is 15 millimeters next i will come down three millimeters and enter next i will move in two millimeters enter i will come down two millimeters i will enter next i will direct the polyline towards the right to enter i will come down now i've formed one of the groove let me form the second groove two i will enter I will move towards this direction to I'll press enter I will come down to I will press enter I will move towards this direction to I'll press enter now I have the second groove next I will come down to I will press enter I will move towards this direction to I'll press enter I will come down to I'll press enter I will move out two i'll press enter now we have one two three grooves next i will come down 15 millimeters i press enter next i will move towards this direction two i'll press enter next i will move up five i press enter next i will move towards this direction one press enter i will move up one press enter i will move towards this direction one i'll press enter i will direct my mouse up two i'll press enter next i will move towards this direction five i press enter next i will direct the mouse up six i press enter next i will direct the mouse towards this direction three i press enter next i will direct the mouse up 11 i press enter next i will move towards this direction 11 i'll press enter twice now i have this next i will type revolve i'll press enter I will click this i'll press enter i will click this end and this end and i will type 360 i will press enter now let us see the shape of what we have done if i click orbit here and i move it like this rotating it to actually see this properly next i will click view menu next i will click palette next i will click visual style i have many options to select here i will double click each so that you see the changes i will have to my object
any of this will give me different view of the object next going to create a hole here and also i'm going to create a hole here to actually put a hole on this piston i'm going to click the top view i will press escape on the keyboard and here i will click the top view i want this top to be facing me next i will turn it this way now this top is facing my direction i have my north here my east my west and my south now that i have it in this position next i will double click this 2d wireframe next i will go to home pick the line command from this base i will click and i will click here i got a line here next i will pick the circle command from this center i will type 1.5 i'll press enter next I will click orbit with the orbit command you are going to see that this circle is at the center of the piston next type 3d orbit enter with the 3d orbit escape i will change this to realistic by double clicking one of this next i will type press pull i'll press enter i will click this circle next i will pull it up i will click without any dimension press escape next click orbit and rotate it so that you can see the other face next press escape on the keyboard next type press pull enter next click this face and pull it out next click the other face and pull it out we didn't use any dimension next press escape on the keyboard next type subtract and press enter next click this piston enter and click this press pulled object and press enter you can see that we now have a hole here and a hole here next we are going to insert this groove here this groove is by the side of the piston to achieve this we're going to click this top however this direction is towards the north i will click this part that is not still our north i'll click the top i will click these edges now i have my top this top is facing me next here i will double click on 2d wireframe next i will pick a rectangle i will click this edge and this edge here i got a rectangle next i will type fillet i will press enter I will click this R or I will type R and enter. Next, I will type 2. I press enter. I will click this edge of the rectangle and this edge of the rectangle. Now, I have a rectangle here. Next, I will type mirror. I will press enter. I will click this end and the other end of the rectangle i'll press enter now i have this here and also i have this here 
next if i press pull this rectangle will cut off this hole which is this hole and this hole to avoid this next we're going to rotate this rectangle 90 degrees we're going to type 3d rotate enter next i want to rotate this around the y axis i will click this green part i will type 90 i'll press enter now i got this rotated to the angle that i want to press pull next i will type press pull enter i will click this rectangle and pull it out to any distance i will also click this part of the rectangle pull it out to any distance i will press escape next i will click orbit to see the other part of the piston i will escape type press pull enter i will click this part of the rectangle and pull it out to any distance i will also click this part as well and pull it out to any distance next press escape on the keyboard now you see what we have next press escape next type subtract press enter click the piston first enter and click these two objects and press enter next use orbit you can see we now have a groove on our piston you can see that everything we have used here both the circle and the rectangle is to help us create this shape on the piston this is how to draw a simple mechanical piston you can extrude this circle by typing est enter and click this circle enter type 30 and enter